What up YouTube, this is your president, Presidential Terrace. Back on another video, I am in Lakeland, at the Lakeland Antique Mall behind me. I've read a lot of good things about this place. I know a lot of YouTubers like to check it out. They have a lot of cool antiques and collectibles and furniture. But also, what I really want to hear to see is I hear they have a lot of cool Disney props. So yeah, and being a Disney fan, I love seeing that stuff. So let's go on in and check it out. And I contacted them ahead of time. Just wanted to make sure it's okay with filming there. And they said, yeah, no problem. They're really cool with it. But I guess I do know a lot of um, YouTubers have gone in there. So yeah, and so far they've been really friendly and everything. So, and um, well, I'm not gonna be blabbering anymore because so I wanna get in there and look around. I'm excited. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I haven't even got inside yet. And I already see some cool stuff to look at. There's a cool wagon. But I wanna show you that cool looking horse over there. Let's go check it out. Cool, look at the thing. That thing's huge. I wonder what the story is with that thing. That is awesome. Okay, let's get inside. Before we head in, here is their hours. Now I'll put the link below for any websites and Facebook pages. Awesome, look at that. That's a look at Sully there. And, um,. That's pretty much life size. I've seen a figure, I think uh, it was years ago, that um, Toys R Us was giving away. I think it was bigger than that, a little bit. But yeah, that's always been my favorite, one of my favorite characters, at least. Look at that ride vehicle he's in. Or part of one, at least. That is awesome. Look, a Disney Tomorrowland cast member shirt. Size 6. I don't think size 6 will fit me. I'm a little bit of a hefty guy. That is cool. That's awesome. And that's just inside the door. Let's go look around. The guy right tell there's a lot of things to look at. I gotta say, there is far more here than I thought. Wow. I can see why a lot of YouTubers like coming here. There's a lot of stuff. Look, some military stuff. That is cool. I love this history stuff. The Soviet hat. Awesome. Okay, let's just get going. This is definitely going to be a more than one time coming here. Look at this old timey looking radio. I don't think it's that old. I actually have one, something like this smaller. It's $98.99. That is nice looking. Got a lot of cool Coke stuff. I'm actually a bit overwhelmed here. There's so much to look at. And it's just some. Um, wow. I wish I would have came here years ago. I could spend a lot of money here if I wanted to. Use those popcorn buckets. Awesome. There's like all these little sections to look at. You have some cool sports cards. I saw an autograph ball in the other section. So they got a, a really a big variety of stuff. I did not watch uh, very much in the videos because I wanted to be surprised. And um, yeah, I am definitely surprised in a good way. Cool Hot Wheels. I used to collect a lot of these back in the day. For the most part, I stopped collecting because it's just got too much. Oh, look at this. Look at that old dad's root beer. How much is this? $89.95, that is cool. And then there's a junior one. Oh, Sinclair. Oh, and it still has the lube in it stuff, or the oil, whatever they have in there. $49.95, I always love finding those Sinclair dinosaur statues when I can. Oh, Batman. I always like Batman, they have some cool Batman stuff. I haven't even really got to much of the, one of the main things I wanted to film, which was the Disney props. Yeah, this is definitely going to be more than one time for me visiting here. Okay. 
Look at this cool table and chair. I used to play chess back in the day. That would be awesome to have. For a spooky pirate. Look at these wooden columns. That's nice. Six fifty for that. I barely got anywhere as in here. This is so much to look at. Well, I think I found a good Christmas section. A lot of cool Christmas stuff. These like um, plastic blow up things. I don't. There's a particular um, uh, word for what they're called. They used to be more popular back in the day. You don't see these as much. They're more of this the inflatable like cloth ones now. But I always thought these were cool. You tell this is a vintage guy. Vintage Santa light up blow, blow mold. Okay, with reindeer '95. So yeah, they were a lot more bigger, like I said, back in the day. He's a little darker because that one's lit, but they have several of those. I've been seeing a lot, definitely some lot of Disney stuff. Disney memorabilia. Look at that castle. Look at that vintage Pinocchio. And it's Pirates of the Caribbean shadow box. Pinocchio is what, $149.99? There's Mrs. I um, uh, forget the name of that character. A grand flirting plate. Oh, look at Kermit. Definitely some nice stuff. Boy. And I've only went down this one aisle with you so far. Oh, that's definitely a place to come if you want some Disney pins. I've always thought about getting into collecting these, but the problem is there's so many and that can get expensive fast. I, I pick up a few, but on very rare special occasions, but this is definitely a place to go if you want to come and get some older ones. Older ones, newer ones. There's some from like 2004. Cool Buzz Lightyear. Can you name the movie where him and Mickey Mouse appeared in? I think it's only happened like one time, these two characters. Let's check out. Looks like they have a bigger Halloween section back here. this I wonder if these were like props or something so they look like something that would be a, a prop at Disney for something Disney original prop pirates of the Caribbean um, apparent yeah pirates room chest drawer Caribbean Beach that is cool I bet you these are the same thing can't really see that well Disney original prop, Pirates Room nightstand. That is interesting. I wonder, let's see. 125. Oh, I'd be so tempted to buy one of these barrels. That would look awesome at home. These things here too, but that would be definitely cool. So yeah, some really interesting props so far. And I bet you those signs are from Disney and Universal too. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights prop arcade display. Wow. That is fifteen hundred. That's awesome looking. Look at that. I gotta say, I am so happy I came here. I should have came here a long time ago. There's so much interesting things. Disney original prop, the Wave Restaurant Ottoman. Two twenty-five. 
I wonder what the, what is it up with these trees? Universal Studios prop tree for Easter. Oh, look at that. Universal Studios prop Christmas tree. Oh, I just think this was at Universal. These things were at Universal Disney. I mean, you don't think you can ever possibly own these things, but they have them here. I bet you this Disney original prop Polynesian Resort lamp. Oh, look at that. All awesome. Wilderness Lodge, another prop. Well, prop, yeah, furniture. I'm going to say everything's technically going to be a prop, whether it's at the, either an attraction or part of a hotel. Look at that, look at that Disney Cruise Line chairs. And there's the Disney logo on it. That says it's only 40. So that's... That's something I may think about. So if I could buy, I'd buy a lot of stuff if I had money right now. I may come back and get one of those chairs. I don't know. I wonder if they have problems with people stealing things because I notice there's a lot of security camera signs here. I understand why. There's a lot of hidey holes where you can go and slip something in a bag or a pocket or something. There's a lot of tiny stuff here. Vintage Wood Rock, a ball carnival game. Oh, from the United Kingdom. That's awesome. I'm going to go back that way in a minute, but let's check this out. This is, let me show you. See this here? Full-size aero traffic light. I actually want to buy one of these and um, put it at home. And have some sort of rig with a computer panel. So if I want just the red to be on or just the green or to cycle through. That is cool. I know some people have those in like their study or den, but I do want to get one. How much is this? Ooh, 155, right? Yeah, it's not actually as bad as I would think. That would be cool. Something I want to get in the future. I have thought about them. Let's go back over here and look at more. There's more of these props around here. Let's check out this table. Disney original prop, pirate room, Caribbean beach. 49, so not too bad. The chairs are only $24.99. Hmm. I may get a few of these chairs. These could definitely fit in the car. Might still get one of those though from the cruise. I don't know about today. We gotta see. Table would be kind of cool to have at home. Forty nine. I still think that would fit in my car. I'm gonna have to think about this. There's definitely some things I want to get when I can. And there's so many things like um, the here's prop mirrors from the Caribbean Beach. Christmas prop display box um, at, at Disney. It's 25. This table is from um, Toy Story Character Cafe. 5.95. Um, another Toy Story. Yeah, uh, that's 4.95. Another table. This chair here is Universal Studios Original Prop Monster Cafe 75. Awesome. I mean, yeah, there's props to galore around here. Another thing from Caribbean Beach. But yeah, pumpkin is pumpkin here. Uh, Disney uh, original prop pumpkin used for display. Seven fifty. See the back. Yeah, it makes it look like it's um, like a scoopy, scary pumpkin maybe. 
Wow. Grand Floridian from the resort. 39. Oh, look at that. How much is that? Uh, Disney original prop, pirate uh, room, jack art, um, Caribbean beach. That is nice. 400 though. That would look awesome in, in, in my um, office. Let's see what the one behind it looks like. Okay, same thing. Wow. There's another one, not sure how much that is. See Disney World of Disney prop map display. So that's 2000. I may remember that. Architectural salvage piece, unique garden decor, 159. Yeah, people love that stuff. Re taking old things and repurposing it, either as a function or just on display. All right, but a lot of cool Disney props back here, and I didn't even look at all of them. Okay, we can keep looking around. Look at this old timey like case you would see in like uh, from the 19 uh, early 1900s, like a country store. That is nice. A lot of different cases and bookshelves here. This one looks very vintagey, don't you think? I've actually been looking, needing to get some bookshelves. Double decided metal display. Only this is only thirty nine. Right, right. Thirty nine ninety five. That is nice. Mmm. 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 I guess double. Yeah, that's double. So I might have to think about that. The only problem is getting it home because I don't live in Lakeland. I don't know if they deliver anything. I may be a bit far away because I'm. Uh, Bit of a drive, but that looks cool. That does have a vintage look to it. They have a whole bunch of other different bookcases here and um, display cases. Some very uh, good prices on them for some of them. As you can tell, I'm not just here looking at the uh, really cool stuff. Well, this is all cool stuff. What am I talking about? Isn't there a cool prop from Universal Studios? There's a prop sign. This is um, $7.99, so $800. Now, obviously, stuff like this is going to be expensive because it's rare, it's unique. How many of them are there? And not very many of them was not just created, but was used as a prop at the theme park. So that's why these things are expensive. And I, I, and I understand and expect that. But yeah, so if you want to get into collecting Disney or, you know, or theme park props, just to let you know, it's not a cheap collect thing to collect, but a very cool thing to collect. Here's some more cool props. There's a chair from Universal Studios, a Monster Cafe. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at these things. Scary Haunted House prop at the Halloween Horror Nights event. Oh my god, look at these things. 
This is definitely a place to come if you want to buy this stuff. Oh. I'm like geeking out. Ooh, look at these metal chairs. Disney Springs vintage chair. It's a prop. Those look nice too. They're um, $259.99. Obviously they're metal, so they're gonna be more money. I like a lot of these cool signs and there'll be really nice wall art. And a lot of these are all props too. Wow. Disney pumpkin prop. That one's 20. Please do not step over. Yeah, they don't want you going in there. But take a photo. Oh, I'll definitely probably be doing that. They don't want you going in there. I can see why, but oh, look at that. Universal uh, Studios Howling Horror Nights prop jack on back sign. 355 for that. Ooh, look at that cool slot machine thingy. Oh, what's this? Universal Studios Beetlejuice Haunted House Door. 150. Oh. Oh my god, I'm really geeking out here, guys. Well, oh, this is where you put the sunglasses at that at the Shrek 4D thing. It's 195. Shrek 4D Little Pigs animatronics. These are 20,000. Yeah, that would definitely be more. That'd be more um, comprehensive. Look at that, though. There's like props all over here. Before we go more that way, let's go back over here. Oh, look, they sell, uh, the glasses from the attraction. That's pretty cool. If they close that attraction down, these are only um, $5. That's a cool, like, a little souvenir. Makes you wonder how many people, when they went to this, actually took them. Um, and they put them in the return bin. This is cool, 1982. Cool vintage stuff. I have to find out how this is done. I notice there's a lot of business cards around. I wonder if different people set up like different sections of stuff and it's like like this section is owned by this person and the one whoever owns this mall gets a commission out of it. I don't know. Don't quote me, that's what I'm just assuming because I know it's a lot of cards. I put this card in my wall a pocket. But um, I have to ask before we go. Disney Resort Original Prop Vase. Wow. Some more wall art. Disney Original Prop, Grand Floridian. That is nice. I've seen the wall art like at Disney, the hotels and stuff. And I always thought it was very cool. Look at that, look at that sports one. Baseball, Disney original prop, all-star sports. Wow. I like that's only that baseball one's only 49. I'm I might think about that. I still kind of want to get a chair though. Maybe I could do both. I don't know. I'm, uh, let's see. From Disney Vacation Club, DV DVC frame art print used for display. I 
Look, a lot of these are up at the resorts. Oh, wow. Let's look at these little ones. What is this? Disney original prop, contemporary resort, room art. It's only 40. I can go nuts, guys, and buying all this different wall art. See what I have at home. I don't have anything that was ever in like a Disney resort like this. I'm definitely gonna have to get something. And here's some lamps and things. Uh, this one's from Polynesian, 249. That's a nice looking lamp. It's just, that one says 249. This one is 95. More plastic, that's probably why, but it's another from the Polynesian Resort. Glanfrelane tissue box that was used at the resort. 399. It's definitely. Um, if you really want something that's a prop, you can't afford uh, too much. There are things that are cheap enough that you could definitely get if you want any prop at Disney Universal. Vault collectibles. That's the business card I picked up. Yeah, there's props galore around here. Christmas prop, wooden bucket. More DVC framed art. There's an old Key West original prop table that was used in the lobby. That's 250. I have that Captain Marvel poster. It's used for display in back of house. Disney original prop. These things, Disney original prop. Yeah. Yacht Club candle holder. Awesome. That's cool. A little poster. I was using the cruise line. A little frame shirt. It's an original prop. Disney t-shirt display used for merchandising. 69. Here's some prop clothes. Disney original prop, um, Disney Studios jacket cast member. It's probably the same thing. Um, so a merchandise display. Disney original prop, doesn't say where. Don't recognize that, but there's so much of Disney I haven't seen, so I'm not surprised. I just keep I just keep walking around. Oh. Look at these. These are a lot of framed like the tickets and vouchers to go to the um to the parks. This one's from Uh, I'm not sure what year. 45 for that. Some really cool vintage stuff. Look at that. That's that actually looks nice. These actually are pretty nice framed. Magic Kingdom Frontierland Pirates League locker tag. So this was probably um, really looks used. This was probably on the wall there someplace for something. It's cool to put that there. 
Look at these old vintage slime. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Cypress Gardens. We know that place. How much, how much filming I did there. That is cool. 25 for that. Wow. I have to say, guys, I'm not usually speechless. Well, I, I know I've been talking a lot, but I'm a, bit, a little bit speechless. There is so much here. Something I want to check down here. Look at this. This looks like... A Winnie the Pooh kitchen from Club Disney. So this is 8700 Remind me of that one fridge I was in that Mickey's Playhouse they used to have at Magic Kingdom, but it's not. But still, really awesome looking. You know, this is a big place, but there's. I'm amazed at how much you're able to fit in there. Wow. I'm definitely going to want to. Come back here and get a chair and get some of that wall, a couple chairs, I think, and some of that wall art. Maybe cool benches. Disney Animal Kingdom bench, 3500 This cool vintage looking uh, uh, Mickey. How much is him? I want, how much is you, I wonder? Not sure, but that is cool. Here's one of those old mugs from one of the resorts. 15, I remember getting one of these when I stayed at in the early 2000s. They still do them, but I don't think they're this shape anymore. I'm gonna grab a card from this person too. This is awesome. I've been seeing different color books and stuff. Walt Disney Around the World coloring book. That's cool. Put this card in here. I got you. Got some for you right here. Gotta be careful when you go through here. There's a lot of glass stuff. You don't want to knock it down. The price is right. <laughs> I got the, I got a pair. Okay. An old trash can from the All Star Resort. Three ninety five. That's cool. Uh, this is neat. Not Disney related, but look at those cool marbles. I used to like to collect them when I was younger. Some marbles of um, antique ones can actually be worth quite a bit of money. And it looks some nice, cool arrowheads. Some fossils. They just have so much of a variety of stuff here. Alligator heads. If you're into some autograph stuff, they do have some here, like they have some baseball sign here. That one right there is signed by Bob Feller. I actually met him back in the day. I know some autograph pictures and balls, and there's some autograph pucks. Some autograph footballs and things. Why, look at these. Let's see. Whitaker Bro Dodgem bumper car, early 1960s from the United Kingdom. That's awesome. And this, let's see the tag. Uh, Pitts Super Stinker Scale RC Biplane, that's 200. And this is 9.99. That is cool. Wow. Look at these vintage U.S. Mint Bank canvas cloth coin bags. And then I'll see what we're going to do for the... Uh... Oh. Awesome. Yeah, definitely a lot of stuff. It's a cool um, Ghostbusters art. 
There's a huge telescope thing over there. And see what I'll take a look at later. This is awesome. It says Disney Rare Vintage Miracle uh, Recreations Playground Equipment, four ninety five. I've actually barely scratched the surface of this place. Well, I've seen a lot of comic books and stuff. Wow. They have like a whole car or something back there. It's probably like a prop car. I don't know where to go if I want to look for some DVDs and VCR tapes. I've seen a lot of them here. Ooh, look at how those, those, these blue with this light, that blue glass always looks so pretty. One thing I want to tell you, some of these old Disney tapes and these VCR ones, and you see this clamshell, it's called a clamshell case. Some of these, the rare ones, could be worth quite a bit of money. Just let you know that. Hmm, I have to say, I can't even know what he's saying, but this is cool. Look at this, some old laser disc, Star Wars. That's nice, that will look cool framed by itself. $39.95. Looks like they have several of them here. Darth Vader statue. Now this, I'm not sure what this is from. That looks familiar. That might be part of like a... Like a riding vehicle or maybe a car? Let me know. I've seen that before. These are cool. I'm I'm not a drinker, but I have seen these in like bars or in movies where there's bars. These are the, like the taps I think that you pull down. I always thought they were interesting looking. And here's a whole bunch of them. That one is like, I think, thirty-six fifty, and they're probably different prices, I'm sure. That's definitely interesting. There's some more of them right there. I don't want to touch any of them because I'm sure they're fragile, and I don't want to have drop one. I'm actually being very careful, trying not to touch anything, unless I know it's uh, fairly safe. This old vintage phone. 95 antique rotary telephone 95 it's not as bad as I thought they would be Ooh, cool cigar boxes I have a few of these at home I always like them and I don't smoke but I do like them some of them are really coolly decorated let's see what these are Okay. Cool. Look what he's standing on. This is a cool looking table. That is awesome. Some more Disney stuff. This is Disney original prop. This is um, hanging, doesn't say where, and then these chairs are from the boardwalk. I know they have a lot of the popcorn buckets here. But yeah, boy. This is cool, guys. Look at this. This is probably a, uh, for a bed. They put the mattress here. 
Oh, there's Caribbean Beach Pirate Bed Scarf, $59.99. Yeah, but this would have been for a bed. Pry for one of the hotel rooms, I'm, I'm assuming. This thing here. Maybe a little bit hard to see if they have stuff on it. Uh, look at this cool Coca-Cola bear. This is um, $450 for him. He's awesome. You actually meet the Coca-Cola bear at um, the Coca-Cola uh, store at Disney Springs. He's a big furry guy. This is cool. Here's another one of those um, antique uh, traffic signal lights. That's $775. That one's definitely older. Look at this. This is a vintage, oh no, this, not, not that one. Um, Disney World Aladdin Royal Caravan Parade figure. Think 1992, that's 1200. And that up here is a vintage Pillsbury uh, Doughboy statue display. He's 325, he's awesome. This old cool vintage vehicle, ride vehicle for the kids. Please not touch, spin the arrow. I gotta see why. That is $6.99. It's a carnival game. The vintage Sheridan Hotel Cleveland Doorman or Bellhop uniform. But look at this. This is a Hunt's Famous Circus Sebastian Line Ringmaster mascot costume from the 70s. That's 450. Look at that thing. Wow. But look at that cool old Ronald McDonald. He's from the 1970s. He's $2.99. And um, one of those, um, I forget what you call them, but I've seen something like that at Disney uh, in, the, in the China Pavilion when they do one of those uh, dragon shows. Actually, that's cool. His old um, Donald Duck head uh, from the 1950s. He is $159. Oh, I remember seeing these. You remember seeing these in school. It's supposed to, uh, you could take the organs out and put them back in. School torso, that is 450. And that right there, clown head helium balloon uh, tank topper from the 70s. That's 289. A lot of cool stuff. Show you something around the corner. Look at this, uh, there's a ride vehicle and they put um, <laughs> spooky skeletons. I could literally spend days and days here. There's so much to look at. And I barely scratched the surface. This is definitely, um, I'm definitely going to have to come back here again. This place is not a one and done video. That's cool. Look at those little um, buttons or whatever they are. This is definitely, um, this will be definitely an ongoing place to stop at. I want to show you this, guys. I've seen this on the History Channel. Now, I've seen a couple of these for sale at a museum once, um, a gift shop that they had there. But this is probably from the 60s or 70s. It's, um, Basically, emergency drinking water that you would have in case it was like a nuclear war or something. I almost got one that had the water in it still, and I almost got it to review for you guys. I have seen someone who got some of these on YouTube and actually opened it and drank some and tried it. That is a cool little piece of history right there. This case has a lot of like bullets and pins, coins, paper money. This is really cool vintage stuff. Silver certificates. Yeah. yeah. That one is. Yeah. Silver certificates, silver coins. Obviously, this section's locked up, which is pretty smart. Should 
because there would be people here who would want to swipe stuff, I'm sure. But yeah, this is cool. There'd be old money on top. Yeah, I know. Wow. Some old paper money. Awesome stuff, guys. Didn't really show this when I came in, but look at that dinosaur. Isn't that cool? Don't know if he's for sale or not, but I know one thing, I would love to have him. But I bet you he'd be very expensive. But he's right here in front next, next to Sully. You know, seeing all these pins makes me want to actually start collecting these. I've only did a little bit, not too much, because, um, like I said, there's so many of them. And uh, they can become... You spend a lot of money on these quickly. I actually did pick up a couple. I will buy a few. That is awesome. I want to show a couple cool interesting things in this case, but every case has cool stuff. Jackie Robbins business card. $24. I actually have one of those. It's a really cool thing to have. If you're interested in political stuff, especially political history, this is like a panel for like a um, uh, voting machine. Interestingly, the voting machine came out of Jamestown, New York. That looks... Um, I don't think it says the year. That is a thousand. That looks to be out of the 50s, in my opinion. That's the way it looks. There's an old, um, I'm sure you say it's a rotary phone or not. Good old vintage one with a vintage typewriter. Look at those clown shoes. Well, here's something from Daisy and Violet Hilton, Siamese Twins. You might have heard of them from 1934. Autograph page 189. Oh look, uh, Ouija board. I don't like those. Old one. I'm telling you guys, you gotta come down here and check this out and buy something. There is so much cool stuff here. It's almost in the verge of being ridiculous. There's so much great stuff. And I barely checked out anything. Now we got a couple things. We're gonna get this little um, figure. It's made in Kenya. Made from Kenya. And show them those two pins. And show them the pins. Go. Got a couple pins. Oh, this is mom. Say hi. Hi. I got a couple. These are only two thirty-three, but there's a whole bunch of them at different prices. I sure it's gonna. Um. Um. A little blurry, it might be. But this is a Star Wars one. I thought it was interesting. And this dinosaur one. I saw this one once someplace and. I thought about getting it at the time and I didn't, so I'm happy I got it. That one's 239 and this one's 233. So not bad. So what do you think of this place? Oh, it's so much, so much. I didn't see everything. I'm tired of just looking. This is made out of real wood and from Kenya. So somebody had to put all the time into that. Cheaper than Disney. Yes, it is. What do you think of the Disney props? Uh, oh, they're big. Please. What do you think of the dinosaur and Sully over there? I love it. I want to give Scully a hug. Sully. Dinosaur. Mm. He's right over there. Cute. I love this. All right. Okay, guys. I'm going to cash out and do a little wrap up outside. All right, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get some chairs. I'm tempted on the table, but I don't know. Um, I definitely won't be able to fit all in my car now. I'm definitely going to get four chairs. That is too cool just to uh, pass up. Got the four chairs in, guys. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it in there. I didn't get the table. I may come back and get it eventually if it's still there to go with it. I'm not sure. And then that green shelf I was showing you, I may come back and get that. I think that will fit in the car. The only problem is I'm just a little bit worried about that, but also worried about the, the weight. That that um, shelf thing is quite heavy, but I think I could probably manage it. But we got the chairs. They're $24.99. And look, they, are, they came from the Caribbean Beach, the pirate room chair. It's called Caribbean Beach. 
Only $25 a piece, which I think is a good deal. These are very, very nice chairs, I think. So I got some Disney prop memorabilia that was in the hotel, which I think is pretty darn cool. So there it is, the Lakeland Antique Mall. Everyone was super nice in there. And you know what? I'm amazed at how much stuff in there. Not just props, but antiques, collectibles, just so much cool things to look at. So I have to say, I am very happy with the, with these chairs. Very happy with my experience in there. I'm definitely coming back. This is a, this is going to be ongoing videos with this place because there's there's so much stuff to show. I mean, I've only showed a little bit. There was whole sections I did not go in uh, uh, through, so I definitely got to come back. I know why YouTubers uh, come here every so often and film a video here. There's so much stuff to look at with the props. Okay, got the chairs so. though. With taxes, it only cost me a little over 100 bucks. And look, I got four very nice chairs, I think. I'm very, very happy with these. All right, any comments or questions about the Lakeland Antique Mall? Like I said, I will be back to film here again. Any comments or questions, put them below. Thank you for watching. This is your president, the Presidential Tourist. All right, let's get going to the next thing.